to talk a little bit about myself for the Women's History Month. And I wanted to share with you guys how kind of my path led me here to be the principal of Derby Middle School. So I kind of knew right off the bat in high school that I wanted to be a special ed teacher. Uh, my mom is a special education teacher and it was just something that I had always been exposed to and had great interest in. So after high school, I went to Eastern Connecticut for a year and then headed down to Southern where I finished my degree in special ed. Um, became a special ed teacher, really enjoyed it. My first job was at ACES, um, which is in Hamden. Um, then I kind of moved around a little bit, went to a couple different places, and then 11 years ago, I landed here in Derby. Uh, came to Derby High School as a special education teacher. Um, I had just had my daughter, Mercedes, at that point in my life. Um, and I decided to go back and get my master's degree in something called emotional disabilities, which was, again, in the special ed realm, and I really enjoyed it. Um, met a great co-teacher at the high school. Her name was Miss Hansen. Um, and she said, let's go get our administrative degree. And I thought, okay, uh, I had a young baby at home and I would have some time to kind of have this and grow in to maybe looking at that in the future. Uh, things happened pretty quick for me after that. And I had an opportunity to become the supervisor of special education for secondary um, schools. And Miss Sheridan at that point became the elementary supervisor. So Ms. Sheridan and I were co-partners in the special education department. Um, I was 28 years old when I did that. So I felt kind of young when I did that, um, but it was a great opportunity for me that I took. Uh, that led to a lot of different movement. I became the assistant principal of the high school with Mr. Pascal. And then I now here with you guys as the principal of Derby Middle School. Um, I think what's important to know is, is that Life can get in the way. Um, as I said, I had had a baby, I had um, had life and had responsibilities, but I continued to put my education first and I continued to shoot for what I wanted to do. Um, I can't be happier being the principal of your school and being here with you every single day. And that's just a little bit about my journey. So if you find something you love and you're passionate about, go do it. I knew right away, for some people it takes a little bit longer, but when you know, you know, and it'll be right for you. So keep working hard, and I hope you guys enjoy hearing about some of the other amazing women here at Derby Middle School and how they came to be where they are today. Anything you want done, baby, we'll do it naturally. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my path and how I got to Derby Middle School. So I ended up graduating from UConn. My major at UConn was Human Development and Family Relationships. Upon my graduation, I was fortunate enough to get a job at an alternative incarceration center in Waterbury. While I worked there, I became the court liaison. So I worked in the courthouse with men and women who were facing incarceration. If they were eligible for my program, they got to come and live with us at the residential center. That's where I truly began to see how much I enjoyed working in a courthouse and working with people. From that point, I decided that I would interview for juvenile probation. And again, I was fortunate enough that I became a juvenile probation officer in Waterbury. I worked in the Waterbury Courthouse for 21 years before retiring and coming here to Derby Middle School. While I worked at juvenile probation, we were able to help a lot of kids. Our role isn't always punitive at probation. We're there to help a lot of kids who are in need of after school programs, housing, school support, family support. We were able to get kids involved in athletics, but we also were able to enforce the rules and enforce the laws in Connecticut to make sure that not only they were safe, but we were safe as well. While I worked at juvenile probation, I also became a member at the Waterbury Gang Task Force and I had a gang unit at Waterbury Probation. That is something that I really enjoyed doing was working with the gang members in Waterbury. We were able to give a lot of these kids second chances at life and having an education and finding them jobs. 
After 21 years, I was able to retire and I was able to come here and work with you guys at Derby Middle School, which is something that I enjoy every single day. My hope here is that I can make a difference in somebody's life, help change something, or give you guys the support that you need. With juvenile probation and even with a climate specialist working in the school system, I want the young ladies and even the young men to know that regardless of your job, you have an opportunity to take advantage of so many things that are offered to you. Probation is a male dominated position, but it is becoming more and more females involved in the juvenile probation department as well as adult probation. You guys are smart, you are capable, show them what you have. To say. Oh, oh, oh. your Spanish teacher and I just wanted to talk to you about my journey here and how I became a Spanish teacher uh, being Albanian because that's what always the kids talk about when they see me um, so just to tell you and to tell you not to give up in your dreams and what you want to become when you get older I've always wanted to be a teacher since I was like six years old since I started school so uh, but I've never really had that opportunity when I was in my country because of many other barriers that I had to go through as a kid. But when I came here, I started learning English and Spanish at the same time. And that's when I my passion grew and I wanted to become a teacher. Um, I had so many barriers, again, here too, because English was my second language. And I had to go to school, work extra hard, um, but many doors opened up for me uh, after different jobs that I had to go through. It took me a long time to pass like reading tests to become a teacher. And when I started working as a teacher assistant as a para at Irving, which a lot of kids know me, um, that's when everything kind of fell into place for me. Uh, I had great mentors. I started with Ms. Cortiano in fourth grade, and then Ms. Nathman moved in and helped me a lot too. And I had other teachers at Irving School who were amazing as well, uh, who helped me to become who I am today. So you need these type of people in your life too, one day, as women, to grow and become what we want to. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm talking about myself here, but uh, I just wanted to tell you I was your age, 8th grade, when I came to this country with no English, no Spanish, just Albanian and some Italian. So that's how I started. So you can start from nowhere and become somebody. I can guarantee you that. Just don't give up. All right, guys?